I'm Harley J. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Harley J. And today we're going to be doing a video about, well, how to make a YouTube video. Um, and it's pretty easy process. Um, this is this video is going to be about how to make it for beginners. Um, I'll be making the same video, but for, but for advanced, basically, like a little a few days or maybe I don't know when I'm gonna make it, but after this, I'm gonna make it. But this video is kind of the process for beginners. Um, and we're gonna be using a free software called DaVinci Resolve. Um, so if you don't have it downloaded, you can download it. Um or just use any other software um but this tutorial is specifically for DaVinci Resolve when you go into the post production um side of it. Um but right now we're not gonna be focusing the first step is actually not the editing, it's the pre production, which is the planning. So I'm going to get a I'm gonna get a note or like a piece of paper or something. So yeah, I'm gonna get grab it. You don't always need this paper. I'm um this piece of paper is just if you're good at visualize if you need to visualize things. Um but the first thing I like to say talk before when I, I just think of I say to myself, I wanna make a video so a YouTube video. So now I have to think of an idea because I cannot make a YouTube video without an idea. So I say I'm I wanna make a video about filmmaking because that's what I do. I'm a filmmaker. So I can either make a short film or a film or or a filmmaking tutorial. But since I'm not, I don't have a short film right now. I, I right now to post, I would make a usually make a filmmaking tutorial. Let me just put it here. I like that exposure on it. But that's kind of how I would do it. But then I would say, hey, what what should I talk about in this filmmaking video? So if I want, I could write down all my ideas like this. I could show you. Um. I'll do this. Um, so I have film in the center, and I can. I can put branches off to the side to write ideas. Um, I, I might write down DIY filmmaking. So, I mean, DIY lighting, sorry. D I Y L I. So, oh wait, I already did a DIY lighting video. So, no, I crossed that one off. Do I have an, another idea? Maybe DIY filmmaking? Oh wait, I already did that, so there's no reason I'm writing it. But you don't have to do this, you can just do it in your mind. So then once I have the idea, I will um, try to figure out what kind of gear I'll use. Sometimes I'll use um, my point and shoot camera if I, and it's right in this box right here. I keep all my things in a box. It's a little, it's a little tip I ha have. Just keep like like things, gear, stuff, and, like all your stuff for your point and shoot camera, and like, put it in all in like plastic card box so nothing breaks. It's just better, but. I like I want I might want to use my point and shoot camera for this, but wait, or for a video, but but then I'll have to be in the bathroom because there's no flip screen, so I would have to, so I couldn't really see myself. But if I don't want to do my bathroom, I would usually use my phone or my webcam or the, or the webcam on my computer. Um, right now I'm using my um phone's camera. Um, I'm putting it in selfie mode, 1080, 7, 7, 720p I think. Um, but this is a this I do recommend this camera. I don't do not know if Canon still sells this camera. It's pretty old and it's not that good. I don't it does definitely not doesn't shoot 4K. That's just the well known fact. But today's not a review on this. It's a Henry Kate um YouTube video. 
um, video. So yeah, once I have the once I have the gear I want to use, I have every I have everything planned out. Now I'm gonna go into production. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna take the video. So right now I can either, I'm gonna either right, for some, a lot of my videos I like to take one long video and then just chop it up in post and kind of edit it as effects. Um, and that's my main A roll. If I if I need any B roll, I can go out and shoot that B roll. And that's just pretty simple. So yeah, but then when I hear something that, that's gonna happen, I'll usually cut the camera like this. Okay, we're back. So, um, where were we? So yeah, now I'm gonna shoot my video. So right now we're shooting the video. I this is my this is like the second shot basically, but it kind of matched with the first shot because I had to cut in between. So you get it. Um, and then we go into edit editing. So let's just jump right into editing. Um, and let me open my computer. And it's right. Well, I'm gonna screen record it so I can. Wait. Okay, I opened up the wrong editing program for one by accident. Um, that was a mistake. Um, and now let me just open DaVinci Resolve because that's what I'm. That's what we're gonna be using today not Final Cut, which I do use Final Cut, and DaVinci Resolve, but DaVinci Resolve is the free version of, well, it's the free, it's a pretty, pretty, it's like the best free editing software almost ever, so, yeah. And if you have any Blackmagic cameras, um, it, it, Black, the DaVinci Resolve has a Blackmagic built-in, um, converter, I'm pretty sure, so, yeah. And it even has a lot, built-in LUTs, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, and it definitely takes time for DaVinci Resolve to load. Um, but let's let it open. Okay, now I'm just gonna open. Do I have any? Okay, um, I'm just gonna get a new project, and one, and once I get that new project in, I will. Once I get this new project open and ready, I will start screen recording. So let's do this. Okay, here we go. And recording in five, four, three, two. Okay, we're recording. So, um, I'm gonna first grab my some kind of a video. Um, let's see what I have. I have. I'm looking. I'm just gonna edit some. Okay, I have a. Do I have a talking headshot anywhere? Um. Okay, there's a nice talking headshot. So in DaVinci, I have I'm in my in the, and the bottom you can see it said I'm in the media tab. So now I'm gonna go into Finder. I'm gonna grab in some grab in a shot a shot. And is it? Oh, thing I dragged me into the wrong place. Sorry. And I dragged in the whole. So I'm gonna drag it this into here. And a quick change and now we have our talking headshot and like you see now I also have this up here so if I need any other stuff just to do an example edit I have it I'm gonna get some b-roll um, which is just some I'm gonna use this as b-roll it's just clips of my dad which I uh, you might have seen me do a short film called walk well I took walk and I re-edited it in DaVinci Resolve with new footage and this is the footage that I ever posted it so um, yeah, so, um, we have that, that's some b-roll, and this, none of this will, none of the video we're editing will make sense because it's all just random clips that I have on my computer, let's just get, since this is the whole, um, I have some audio here, okay, audio, um, some, let's get, this light stand clip. If we talking about light, this is my my light stand video. 
I like that. Oops, definitely use that. Um, and I think I'll use this clip because I remember this was a nice clip that I remember shooting this. So this is, and then I'm gonna grab one more clip. Let's do. Scroll through that. Let's do that one. Okay. Now we have, now we're in our media tab, we have all our, of our clips. And I'm gonna go into the edit tab now. And the edit tab is definitely like the first place I like to go. Um, and it's pretty nice and it's kind of, all the tabs work together and I like to use all the tabs in DaVinci. But I think I'm actually gonna start with a, um, with this talking head shot. If you don't know what a talking headshot is, it's what we're doing right now. This is a talking headshot. Um, it's where the t camera talks. Well, it's all the, where the, um, well, it's just like a talking, it's like a head that's talking. That's what it is. Um, now I'm going to just cut off the beginning because that is kind of me turning on the camera, it looks like. So after I say today, we're talking about this and that. There. I'm gonna cut there. I don't know why, cause but this is never gonna make sense. So now I'm just gonna cut to. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cut to go there. Delete that over. And this is the Vinci Resolve that we want. And now uh, I'm gonna bring up. Bring up some, some more motion blur. So there's motion blur. It's kind of so. Yeah. Um. This is nice. I'm gonna add in. Some, I'm gonna do a simple cut right there. I'm gonna add in. No, not that. Let's go with that. And I'm gonna add that in. Right there. And there we go. And that's pretty nice. And I'm gonna, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna cut there. I'm just delete that ending. Okay, that's nice. Um, but now I just realized, where's my intro? I'm gonna grab my video intro. So I'm gonna go to Finder, Video and Intro. Dang it, I spelled it wrong. Sorry. We got video intro, and I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna bring it right there, and I'm just gonna bring it again. So I'm actually just gonna delete this, so it's just it's better because this is actually definitely easier in Final Cut. Um, that's why for some videos I use um DaVinci, some videos I use Final Cut, but. This video is already getting kind of long, but this is just pretty simple. Um, I can do a simple color grid in in the color tab. I can I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do an add a simple, a nice little S curve. I am going to go to here. I'm just gonna add a bit of a red. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of a blue right here. Green. No, no let's go with red. So I really just like that look. It looks kind of creepy for like a creepy look. Or maybe like trying to recreate something similar to like one of those like heat sources where it's like trying to find the heat, but it shows you like it shows the heat, different colors. Like maybe if you're trying to recreate something like that, that's a nice color grade. Um, I'm gonna color grade this maybe. Maybe I'm just gonna bring this down and then bring it in. No, it just looks bad. Um, and I like that. So and now I'm gonna go into the cut tab, and I'm gonna find a bring this down easier. And then I'm gonna find a shot that I want to zoom in on. I want to zoom in on this shot, so I'm going to um, grab it. Okay, why am I just forgetting how to do this? Sometimes just it gets hard when you do this. Um, a lot of the time I forget, and everyone forgets. Uh, that's what it is. And I'm just gonna. I'm going to do a zoom right there. I'm just gonna. 
bring it. Uh, actually, it's a little too much. Zoom. That's a nice zoom. I like that. And I'm just gonna. Yeah, I like that. So that's nice. I like that. And I want to export. We're gonna go to deliver. And now I'm gonna select YouTube because we're doing a YouTube video. Um, and I'm going to choose what I want it to be called. I'm gonna call this video. And I am going to browse the location. I'm gonna go to here. And now it's gonna save to desktop and render queue. But um, I'm just gonna rename it. Yeah. Um, let's just kill this video too. This one. Okay. Start render. Okay, now it's rendering, and then we can upload it to YouTube. So that's nice. Um. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, because I'm a filmmaker. My name is Riley J, and peace out.